Well, hello there. I'm just going to wait on y'all to pop on in. Pop, 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 pop. Pop on in before I start talking. I'm actually on my lunch break. Having a wonderful day. I thought I was going to be tired. But I'm not. I'm actually on this right here. Hey, for my one, two viewers who have popped on. Four viewers who have popped on. I am nine viewers who are on. I am literally on this, so I'm doing okay. I thought I was going to be sleepy, but I'm not. I got to go to the nail shop after work. I'm hoping I have enough enough energy after work to go to the nail shop. I'm tired. But anyway, I'm just on my lunch break, just sitting here in the air. And what's going on my Facebook page, right? So y'all know I put a post out there. Y'all know I say the darnest things, right? Y'all know I say things other people really won't say, but they be wanting to say. So I just put a post out there, and I don't know verbatimly, like right now I can't close it out and read it, but it says something to the point like, um, y'all need to get somewhere and sit down, or y'all need to uh, stop these pop-up churches, or something like that. Anyway, I was talking about pop-up churches, and I was saying, I know God has, no, I said, I'm convinced now, if you can have a pop-up church, in and everything goes, Okay. In and everything goes because everybody true true now this is true y'all know this is true y'all know this is true y'all know every week when y'all get on facebook or instagram or twitter i'll say mostly facebook and instagram you're seeing somebody is pastoring a new church now or you get in, invited to a new church where somebody is pastoring a new church granted i know i'm not one to say who god called i'm not one to say who god didn't call that's not my place i don't do that I don't put my mouth on a man or woman of God. But if I voice something and I know what I'm talking about, that I'm going to voice, okay? Now, here we go. We know God ain't called all these people to pastor. Here we go again. Who am I to say? Try to spear by the spirit and see if it be of God. That's who I am. Hey, Marcus Taylor. Hey, Shawana. I'm just saying. Um, and actually, I don't know how I keep getting put in this dude's... Um, um, what you call it? The group. Because I don't, how do we automatically get put in these groups that we don't even accept, you know? So I've unfollowed myself from this guy's group, group, church group thing already once. And then I'm in it again. So I see his thing that he have out there again today that just called, check this out. And I didn't even put his name out there. Really, I didn't look at his name. I just, I was like, oh my God, how did I get in this guy's group again? Call on us if y'all know anybody who need a pop-up church. We will come to wherever you are. And I'm thinking, wow. Now, I know the Bible says God, God will take the foolish things to confound the wise. So, anyway, um, so I deleted his, his, his message that he put on my thing. He came back and said, who am I to say who God has called? Dude, I never said that I was anybody to say who God has called. Because I'm not, I would never say that. I never said God didn't call him. But what I did say was, y'all need to take several seats and sit down. You know, it's nothing wrong with putting a tent up and having church. Because when I grew up, people had tent revivals. We went to tent revivals. And we had some serious church and tent revivals. Tent revivals was like the, if you heard of somebody having a tent revival, you wanted to go. Because you knew it was going to be some some clapping and, and church stomping. It was going to be some church, some tamarind playing, people falling out under the anointing, people getting delivered and everything like that. So we love tent revivals, right? But when you tell me or when you're telling people, wherever you are, I will come and we will pop up and they call it pop up church, the pop up church. Now, it's not even, you know, it, it, it's crazy because they have dry. I know y'all have seen the drive through church down on Cullen. Cullen in Houston. I know y'all have seen drive through. No, the, yeah, drive through church. If you can't make it to your church, if you need prayer, you drive through. I know y'all seen it on Facebook, and I know y'all. I've literally went down there last year to see it. And those people. Now, one thing I will say, they're they're, they're really out there. If they tell you they're going to be out there from eleven to two o'clock p.m., they are really out there. They're out there with their microphone. They're out there with their speaker. They have the people out there singing praise and worship and stuff like that. And you, yes, pure entertainment. And you drive through. And you drive through really slow, and you can listen to them have church. If you need prayer, they'll pray for you. Drive through. And I thought that was hilarious when I first saw it. 
But I was like, hmm, like Jehovah's Witness, honey, they up on their game. They, they, they come together and they were doing it. So when I saw that, you know, I thought it strange then, but I was like, oh, okay. But now pop, I've heard of the pop-up shops. I've heard of the pop-up uh, um, pop locations where they do pop-up food. I've heard of the pop-up. I've even heard of pop-up beauty supplies. I mean, I'm sorry, pop-up uh, hair studios. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, and this is my friend, so this is not like trying to throw no shade or whatever. I think um, Cheryl Roberts last month had a pop-up praise, praise pop-up or something like that. That was cool. That was cool because that was that was for a good cause, and it wasn't like she was saying that she's going to be at every corner. Call me, we'll come. to This dude is saying call me and we will come and we will do a pop-up church wherever you want us to come to y'all know better than that y'all know better than that but didn't want to get mad because i voiced my opinion about it again i'm gonna say what i want to say i said what i said and i'm not gonna take it back some of y'all need to have self receipts because y'all know god ain't call y'all to do all this foolishness that y'all doing y'all just know I, I, and i have a friend of mine I, I, he's a friend of mine. He doesn't live here. He lives in Dallas. And and I hate when I get on his live. He has very good church. He has very good Bible study. And maybe it's just me. I have a problem when you can do a live Bible study and ask people to send you money. Send you their tithe. Dude, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that they may be meeting my house. What are they getting from you? What, what are you doing with their tithe? You're coming on live like we all do. And you're giving people scriptures and having Bible study. Now he does good, and I'm, I'm not going to call his name. He does good, but I think that's that you know that's too far fetched. And he actually have people who follow him, you know. And this is what makes it bad for believers and Christians who's really trying to do right, who's really trying to follow leaders, good leaders, great leaders, because when they find find out that they're getting, um, when they find out that they're being betrayed by a leader, I have to look at this time, honey, keep up with my time, I'm on my lunch break. Or when they find out that they're being used by a leader, then they want to back up, you know. So I'm just, you know, these pop-up churches, dudes said pop-up church, like really. A pop and then said, you know, who who are you to say God didn't do it? I never said God didn't call you. I just I, I know he takes the foolish things to confound the wise. I know that. I know that. But again, I said what I said, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it back. Y'all know all this. What's up, Terrence? Y'all know all of this is just, you know, we just did, and I know everything. Here's another thing. I do, and I understand. I'm not ignorant by far. Spoken. Yes. I say, yes, yes, Carolyn. Now, I'm not ignorant by far. I may not be the sharpest knife in the drawer. I may not be uh um uh, um uh, I, I may not be the smartest thing. But I'm darn sure not a few fries short of a happy meal. Now let me tell you this. When I was growing up, you know, church was church. You gave your tithe, you gave your offerings, you know, you gave your building fund fund offerings. We probably never saw the building being built, but we still did it, right? Because that's what church was about. Nowadays, to me, to me, and I'm going to say this, and I don't want anybody to get offended. Church, to me, is like a business. People run it like a business. It's like you can't go there and enjoy your pastor because, hey, happy birthday, Rita Justice. You can't go there and enjoy your pastor who you joined under because maybe they spoke a word into your life that manifested or that happened. Or maybe you got delivered under them. Or maybe you just love the way they preach. And you come there because you want to hear that person. But every Sunday when you go, they got somebody else saying preaching. They're having all these programs. It's a musical. It's this kind of program. It's I mean, it's like they're making up all kind of programs to have. And that's only, and we know already, and this may come back to bite me in the butt, but oh well, I'm going to still say what I'm going to say. And this is only so they can have a lot of visitors to come in and so people could give give the money. Okay? That's all it is. Y'all know I'm a realist about it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I traveled with the best evangelists and past, I've, honey, let me tell you, I don't work behind the scenes with them all, so I can spot them out. I know them. You know, it's just like, if you've ever been delivered from being a prostitute, you can spot them out. If you've ever been delivered from uh, being a crackhead, you can spot, you can spot them out too. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay? So I used to run, I, baby, let me tell you, 
I know this stuff when I see it. That's why I don't, I don't like it. I say from behind it because I know how I was sucked into it. I know how I was uh, um, misled. I know how I was brainwashed, okay? But what I'm saying is I know everything needs to be updated, upgraded, because we upgrade our apps. We upgrade our, our phones. We upgrade our cars. We upgrade our uh, uh, cable things, at home, our, our cable, our remotes, all that stuff. Everything needs to be upgraded and updated. So I'm thinking, I'm just saying, Maybe the churches are being upgraded and updated by doing these things. Maybe because we are living in a new day and time and the way the world is and people's tension span is not like it used to be. We can't go to church and listen to a 30 minute message no more. So now they got to bring the bumping in the music and stuff like that to keep our attention. So I'm, I'm looking at it like that in a good, you know, I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe that's why they do that. Cause see, we'll go to a program, I me. Mean, I'll go to a program that you invite me to before I just come to just pure church. Yeah, I mean, when I tell you I'm just churched out, I am completely churched out. But I still go because the Bible says, fail not to assemble yourselves. And I think that's the only thing that really keeps me going. You know, um, and this is not a, a dig on any pastors, so please don't take it as that, okay? But when I see crazy, stupid stuff on Facebook, if I want to address it, I'm going to address it. Just like y'all see crazy stuff in the church, y'all address it, okay? Because it's what? Your church. So this is what? My page. So I can address it. So please, no pastors. Well, you can't come in my inbox and say, you offended me because you said something about the pastors. Well, how, how, uh, how much longer are you going to talk about the pastors? Oh, you really must have been had a bad church. Or do you always talk about the church and the pastors? Can't come my inbox anymore because I disabled it. I'm going to turn it back on, but until all these chain messages and all these people stop sending this stuff, I can't turn it back on because my notifications, like, oh, I never thought I would miss, I, I, I never thought that I could disable my inbox and not miss it. Honey, if I tell you I don't miss that, woo, baby, I can sleep and my notifications don't, my notifications on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, um, this, uh, my emails and stuff be going off, but I can kind of, you know, oh my god, but this inbox, bing, 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 bing. Oh, honey, I tell you, detach yourself and disable yourself from some things that you really don't need in your life. You'll find out you'll be all right without it, but anyway, y'all, that's like my time. I have like three minutes to get back in here, but I just want to let y'all know that post that I put out there wasn't to offend nobody, so the dude they got offended. Oh, poor Tink Tink, <laughs> he got offended, but hey. Y'all support who you want to support, you know, because if you're a babe in Christ, I understand you're going to be under certain leaders that requires certain preaching. If you are a, a seasoned um, Christian like myself, I require certain um, certain messages preached to me. I require certain preachers, um, you know, how, how they deliver their messages. It's all about right here and right here, what you believe in, what you are willing to allow somebody to preach to you you know and as long as the word is the word coming from anybody i'm going to receive it i don't care if it's coming from male woman dog cat bird because honey how many of you know god will allow the birds to say some things to you at times they be chirp, 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 while you're sitting there and not knowing how you're gonna make it through when you're sitting there thinking about how you gonna pay this bill god i don't have i don't have money to do this i don't have money and 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 you're sitting there by yourself thinking and a little bird would come right on through. And God would, God, God would allow you to remember. But if I did it for the sparrow, I can do it for you. And I'd be like, God, wow, you used that bird to let me know. If you kept your eye on that sparrow, your eye is on me. Anyway, y'all, that's my lunch break. I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. Peace out. One love. Bye-bye.